Hey, what up, y'all? It's your boy Scoob, and welcome to Deadly Spiders Diecast. Um, new subscribers, and thank you for your support. So, yeah, um, we're going to get right into this. Um, this haul from Dollar General. I mean, no, Dollar Tree, excuse me. Uh, but anyway, I decided to go because, you know, the weather down here, it hadn't really been that great. So, uh, when I got a little bit of daylight, you know, with no rain, no fierce winds, I just decided to, um, do some Hot Wheels hunting. So, yeah, they didn't have much over there at Dollar Tree, uh, like they usually do, but at least I didn't have to leave with empty handed. But anyway, I got some, at least I got some stuff that I really been wanting such as these Alfa Romeo GTV6 3.0s. Still hadn't gotten the red down here. But, you know, at least I got the white one. At least two of them right here. But anyway, um, I might save that for last. Um, I'm going to get into these, you know, into these ones first. These over here. But... First, I want to show you this stand that I got, you know, as we speak, you know, uh, I just got this in the mail uh, just a few minutes ago. So I got a way to put my cars on the stand. That's also going to help me out with my shorts, you know, create more of them more often. That might help my channel out a little bit. So, you know, that will increase my volume of videos. So that's a good thing, I guess. But anyway, let's get cracking. Yeah, y'all already saw me do this one uh, on my New Year's Eve uh, in the hall. But, you know, Dollar, Dollar Tree had you know, a couple of extra ones. I want, I kind of wanted another one for, to do a custom with. So we're going to crack it. You know, all of them, they were really on short cards. Uh, let me get this. I got that styrofoam right there just so my cars won't roll off. All right, we in business. Yep, as you can see, you know, it's going to show you the headlights and tail lights automatically. It's a neat little casting. I like it. Next we got the, excuse me, next we got the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Hmm. Well, this thing works like a charm. I don't know why I hadn't gotten one of these sooner. Yeah, the stand, I'm, I mean, but yeah, um, I kind of wanted another, I don't really have too many of these, because, you know, I don't know why, uh, I did have the first one in, in orange, uh, many moons ago, I mean, many moons ago, but yeah, um, I kind of wanted another, uh, one of those casting. And it's pretty cool that they put it in the Falcon livery. You know, that's pretty pretty nice. It looks good with it. Falcon. Maybe I'll, I'll set it back right there so it won't mess with our lighting. But yeah, um, it's good to have another one of those 
in the collection. All right. Next, we got the Audi 90 Quattro. I'm kind of blowing right through this. A lot faster than usual. You know, I like to be a little bit more thorough with my reviews. I'm just that kind of person. But, you know, um, these are all cars that everybody already saw anyway. But this is my first one, actually. They had plenty of the, the white ones of this one uh, about a couple months ago. I just wasn't really that interested in that this cast. Of, I don't know why. I really don't like those wheels either. Them aero discs. They're just not my thing, even though they're supposed to be on this car because, you know, it replicates the wheels that are on the real car. But, yeah, I just wasn't really feeling this car. But, you know, it's actually pretty nice. You know, it's a, a very historic race car. You see it got the side exhaust right there on the door. And, you know, I believe... And it's got like a an air scoop right here. Um, yeah, this is a this is a mid engine car. Wow. Yeah, folks. Yeah, this right here is mid engine. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna buy too many more of these but you know at least I'll do a couple of them up for a custom I'll customize a couple of them at least to get rid of them ugly ass wheels so anyway that's the Audi 90 Quattro folks hmm. pretty well done And the next car is, uh, well, the last two are the Alfa Romeo GTV6 3.0. Let's open it up. Give me a moment. So, yeah, um, it's nice. You know, it's not one of my favorite Alfa Romeos, even though I'm a I'm a huge Alfa Romeo fan. Huge fan of the Italian cars, as I like to reiterate. You know, it ain't the best looking Alfa Romeo, at least not one of the best looking ones. But, you know, it's pretty decent for what it is for the time it came out. So, yeah, but Hot Wheels, you know, they did an excellent job recreating it. I wanted, I really wanted the red one with the white stripe on the bottom. But, you know, you know, we wasn't able to get one, uh, get, none of one get none of those, excuse me. But, you know, the white one looks pretty sharp. I like how they at least did the, the headlights and grill. And if you can see close enough, you know, you can see the Alfa Romeo badge in the middle. And those wheels, yeah. Uh, those are your new wheels. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, nothing, no painted taillights, but, you know, I guess that's all right. I'll be, you know, stripping these down and chopping them up anyway. And putting my own tail light, headlights and tail lights on them. I guess we can open this one up too. I know some people like to leave their cars in the package. Yeah. You know, 
I just didn't want to do that no more. I don't collect cardboard. You know. I like to uh, see my cars up close and personal. You really can't appreciate the cars if, you know, they're stuck in the packages. And sometimes they even get damaged in the packages. Yeah, especially, you know, over time. The more you leave them in there. But yeah. Uh, these, all of these cars can finally taste uh, some freedom. You know, this is a pretty nice looking casting. The more you look at it, you know, the more you kind of like it. I can't wait to, you know, get started, you know, customizing one of them. I'm going to leave one as is and then just do it up, do the other one up the way I would like it. So, yeah, um, I guess that's our review, folks. Um, this thing right here, yeah, this thing is pretty nice, you know, this stand. It worked exactly the way I wanted it to, especially with this, uh, this foam on top of it. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> so anyway um thank y'all for watching i really do appreciate it i hope y'all enjoyed it and if you enjoyed the uh this video and my other content uh please you know consider subscribing i'm trying to get to 200 subscribers my ultimate goal to be honest is to get to a thousand subscribers but you know we got to take some baby steps. So help me out with that 200. At least leave a thumbs up so other people can, you know, see this video. Yo, give me as much thumbs up. Give me as many thumbs up as, as you can. <laughs> I'm stuttering. But anyway, I guess I'm going to get my butt on out of here. All right, y'all. Peace.